Tonight's next award is another one close to my heart. It's the Environmental Solutions Award, presented by Peter Mace, Board Director at the Export Council of Australia. Please welcome Peter back to the stage. Well, thank you, Craig, and I'm sure this award is very close to your heart. We also saw just two awards, uh, one of the previous winners of this award, uh, Nanosonic. So it is a prestigious award, and it's an award, an area that uh, New South Wales and Australia, I think, fight above its weight in terms of what we can deliver. So it's great to see some great finalists here tonight, and let's see who they are. Calix. Calix is a multi-award winning Australian technology company that is developing new processes and materials to solve global challenges. The core technology is a world first patented kiln that produces mineral honeycomb and captures CO2 emissions. Calix's main markets are in Southeast Asia and Europe. Enzatec. Enzatec is the inventor and manufacturer of the TIG brush stainless steel weld cleaning system and a global leader in metal surface finishing. Ensatec manufactures and supplies TIG brush products worldwide. Star Water Solutions. Star Water Solutions evolved out of an initial market research project, the principles conducted for the New South Wales EPA in 1997 on markets for recycled materials, where the use of recycled materials to filter contaminated waters was first identified. Are we ready for the winner? Yeah. Good. That's what we like, a nice response. The winner of this award tonight is Calix. Please welcome Calix. Come with me. Come with you. Wow, uh, excellent, excellent result. Uh, very pleased and, and congratulations to the finalists in this category as well. Um, the cement and lime industries contribute 7% of global CO2 emissions. Uh, they're the largest industrial emitter of CO2. Uh, in about 2014, uh, we had an idea that uh, we could change uh, the sustainability of the CO2 uh, from the cement and lime industries. And uh, Mark and I decided to, despite the fact we'd never produced a single kilogram of cement, <laughs> uh, go over to Europe uh, and uh, try and persuade the cement and lime industries uh, that we have a technology that could actually change their CO2 footprint. So uh, fast forward uh, four years, uh, we're now three quarters of the way through constructing a plant in Belgium on a Heidelberg cement site to demonstrate the technology. Uh, it's been a hell of a ride. Uh, when we first in, engaged these guys, I think we had 18 people, virtually zero revenue, and we're trying to persuade companies with billions of dollars of revenue and, and thousands of employees. But we seem to have got there. We IPO'd the company in July. Uh, we've got the plant starting up in April next year, and it's been a long, uh, but ultimately a very satisfying journey. And so thank you very much to New South Wales Government, Export Council of Australia, especially Oz Industry, uh, EFIC, uh, for supporting us. We wouldn't have got this far without them. Uh, and of course to the Calix team, all our owners in the business. Uh, we've only got four up here tonight. There's now 35 of us. 
Uh, there was 18 of us uh, in 2014, so it's been a great journey and thank you all.